the limit of a function. In this video, we introduce the concept of a limit using an intuitive approach. We begin our exploration of limits by discussing how to evaluate the limit of a function by inspecting its graph. This video aims to build a conceptual understanding of limits. A function f assigns an output f, x, to every input x. For example consider the function f, x, equals x squared. If you input 0, the output is 0. If you input 1, the output is 1. If you input 2, the output is 4. If you input 3, the output is 9. Observe that the output of a function changes as the input changes. The limit of the function f at point p describes the behavior of the output f, x, as x moves closer and closer to p. Before going on to the limit let's take a close look at the movement of x values. Let's pick a point on the x-axis. Say 3 we can approach 3 by starting from the left side of 3 or by starting from the right side of 3. Observe that if we approach 3 by starting from the left then we walk across the values less than 3. In symbols approaching from left is denoted by x right arrow 3 and we place a negative sign above 3. Here negative sign indicates the left side. The behavior of the function values or y values as x approaches 3 from the left side is called the left hand limit at 3 and is denoted by. If we approach 3 by starting from the right, then we walk across the values bigger than 3. In symbols approaching from right is denoted by x right arrow 3, and we place a positive sign above 3. Here positive sign indicates the left side. The behavior of the function values or y values as x approaches 3 from the right side is called the right hand limit at 3 and is denoted by. Okay, let's summarize the results. Definition left limit. Okay, we write limit of x going to c negative fx equals l and say that left limit of fx is l if the number fx that is the function value keep getting close to l as x approaches c from left of right limit we write limit c plus fx equal s and say that right limit of fx is l if the number fx keep getting closer to l as x approaches c from right okay this left limit and right limit we call them one-sided limits okay then we will introduce a new definition two-sided limit we write limit fx equal to c equals l if number fx the function height keep getting close to same value l as x approach c from either side okay that means you can come from either side so this means this the two-sided this li limit is defined only if right limit and l left limit are defined and value is equal to l okay now let's go over some examples okay. so we are asked to evaluate the right limit left limit and limit each point okay if the limit is undefined right undefined part a x equals 4 so here we are asked to find the limits okay so first let us find the okay to find the right limit at x equals 4 we have to approach 4 from the right side okay so we will start from the furthest point in the right where the graph start here this red dot shows the x value at the furthest point okay so to get the y value we have to first reach the graph graph from this point okay so we reach the graph okay and this is the point on the graph then we can get the y we have to reach the y 
now right, okay so this is the x and then the point on the graph right above x and its y coordinate okay now let's observe what happens as we approach as this x coordinate approach 4 observe the behavior of the y coordinate okay so as x approaches 4 we can see y approach 8 no? as x approaches 4 y approach 8 To find find the right hand side limit, we we'll start our motion from the furthest point of the graph on the right hand side. So first we pick the x value. Okay. Then to find the point correspond to that x coordinate on the graph, we draw a vertical line. Okay, identify the point where that line meets the graph and then uh, draw a horizontal line to identify the corresponding y coordinate okay now y coordinate is given by this point okay now as x moves towards 4 we have to take the motion of the y coordinate okay we can see that as x moves towards 4 y is moving towards 8 now because right limit and left limit are defined and equal to l so sided limit is also defined and equal to l function value at x equals 4 f of 4 is 8 it is same as the limit at x equals 4 